West Holmes Knights Football Weekly Preview Show on WKLM. This week's Nice Football Weekly Preview Show brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. Matt Coy alongside Mike Kinsey and West Holmes, another terrific season last year, running a 21-game regular season win streak entering this season. They've won the OCC title each of the last three years and been to the playoffs four times in the last five seasons, including three straight years at least to the Sweet 16. And, and Mike, for this West Holmes team, another terrific year last year. been a lot of fun here in recent years watching this West Holmes team. But they're at a point now where really there's high expectations every year with this West Holmes football team. Uh, absolutely. You know, we've got a tradition going here now. Uh, we've, we've won a lot of home games. I know that. And we're going for the most consecutive wins. Uh, tradition. Tradition is everything. Uh, to me, that's a six-point advantage on every game because people come to our place and they know that uh, we've got a target on our back. Uh, we're the team to beat. Um, a lot of expectations, and I think it'll be a good season this year. Absolutely. We know West Holmes' offense good last year. Just how good were they? Well, based on the numbers, they were the number one offense the entire state of Ohio in high school football last year. Now, we know there's some key losses. Of course, uh, quarterback Mason Wolf gone to graduation, went on to Ashland University. Sam Williams-Dixon, talented running back, transferring to Pickerington North. But still a lot of talent back on this offense, Mike, including starting wide receiver and Yale commit Kyle Muldrich. Yeah, we, we have a lot of weapons. You know, we had a lot of weapons last year. We have a lot of weapons this year. And you and I talked last year with the wins that we had. These kids might be starting for the first time, but they've got a lot of experience because they played a half a game most ten, 10 games last year. So uh, might be their first start, but uh, they're veterans. You know, Morgan Smith stepping in a quarterback as a junior. We saw just glimpses of him, what he can do as a dual-threat quarterback for West Holmes. I agree with that. Uh, look, I, I think this year is going to be really interesting. Not only can he throw the ball, but uh, he's going to put some yardage up, too. In the offense that we run, uh, you can't stop everybody. Uh, if they stop the pass, then he's going to have a lot of yardage this year. Now, the defense, obviously, you can't replace what the, maybe one guy replacing what Elijah Boulders gave them on defense last year. But still, a lot of talent up front and also what should be a very talented secondary for this team. Uh, you're absolutely right. You know, we talked about this uh, last year I have with my friends and so forth. And there's the guy that you don't replace. There's a guy averaged like 25 tackles a game. And uh, he's tough to replace. But we'll, we'll find a way. I mean, these kids are battling to, to win the games. And uh, we'll find a way. We've got some kids that will step up and take his place. No question about that. Well, with more on this West Holmes team, let's go out now to Knight Stadium with Jake Seidel alongside head coach Zach Gardner. Thanks, Matt. I'm here with West Holmes head coach Zach Gardner. Coach, uh, coming off your third consecutive OCC title and now four playoff appearances in the last five years, uh, how is your team going to handle the challenge to really replicate the success again this year? Yeah, you know, sometimes they say it's harder to maintain than it is to build. You know, when you have that... Uh, target on your back and you're getting everyone's best shot when you play them that's one that's uh that's when you need to lean on your culture to to main maintain the establishment of the program the way that we have and uh you know our kids understand we had a great off season uh in the weight room which is you know we we believe in that 1000 percent and what it you know the success that it leads to you know on the field and uh our kids have practiced hard and uh you know we, we got some new guys stepping into some roles and that's just how it works you know you uh you know you you wait for them to to reach their potential and we're working really hard for them to reach their potential and when when they do we really think we can continue on the success that we've had and coach you had the number one scoring offense in the state of Ohio last year. You lost a few guys, but you've got a Yale commit Kyle Maltrich here to anchor that. What are you expecting out of your offense this year? Yeah, I'm expecting us to pick, you know, right up where we left off. You know, we've had a, you know, a pretty good preseason, a pretty good uh, um, success offensively against two very good teams in the preseason in Tri-Valley and Dover in terms of us being able to move the ball and do the things uh, that we expect. And, uh, you know, you're always going to lose, you know, you know, good guys. And, and you know, the, the thought process always is, you know, a team's not going to be as good as they were the year before when they do that. But, you know, we've lost some really good football players here, you know, the last, you know, six years in the program. And, uh, you know, our kids that are stepping in in the new roles for the first time on the Friday Night Lights, they've been developed properly. You know what I mean? They, they've bought into to our systems. They understand what they need to do. The next step is just to go out and do it. And we're excited to, to see them uh, go out and do it. Um, we definitely have a chip on our shoulder. We know that there's a lot of people out there doubting us, you know, buying tickets to see our downfall and our kids are working really hard to make sure that those people uh, have to get refunds for those tickets. <laughs> 
And, Coach, you've got a junior Morgan Smith. He's going to be your starter this year, uh, a real dual threat guy. What does that add, uh, that element add to your offense? You know, uh, you know, Morgan's a wrestler. That's the first thing you need to know about him. He is tough as nails. He's a competitor, like you said. He's going to add a dynamic to our offense that we haven't had, and that's with the plays that he's going to be able to make, you know, with his feet. Uh, uh, you know, he's been developed properly, led our junior varsity team to a 9-0 and undefeated team last uh, undefeated season last year and uh, it's his turn just like what we talked about with those young guys he's been developed properly now it's his turn to go out there and uh, to, to play the greatest game there is to play coach your defense last year fantastic at causing turnovers what are you expecting out of them this year yeah, same thing you know uh, cause turnovers run of the football tackle we're excited uh, you know we're switching up our our defensive scheme we're a firm believer in putting our kids in, in their abilities and the things that they do well putting them in a position to be successful so uh, we switched to a 4-2 defense from a 3-3 defense and we think it really fits you know the personnel that we have on the field and it's going to allow people to you know to go make plays and do things that they do well and, uh, you know, one of those things is causing turnovers. That's been a major emphasis for us, probably more than it ever has been uh, in the preseason. Uh, you know, we, 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 we've added a turnover station to our tackling stations. And, uh, you know, I think our kids understand about taking that ball away. And when you look analytically at games, when a team wins the turnover margin, more likely than not, they're going to find themselves uh, with a better, bigger percentage chance of winning the game. You're opening up the season at home this year, Coach. You haven't lost a game at home since 2019, and it's a rivalry game against a border school. What are you expecting out of the Titans and first-year head coach Cody Kelly? Yeah, well, we know where they're going to get. They're going. We're going. We are going to get their best shot. You know, they're they're over there practicing like it's the Super Bowl. Um, you know, they're going to come try to cause chaos. You know, with what they do. You know, defensively try try to confuse us, and uh, that's something that we got to be prepared for. Prepared for whatever look they give us, whatever little little gadget that they have to to try to stop our offense. We've been uh, working really hard at you know anything that they could do, and uh, you know we just need to focus on us. We need to block well. We need to throw well, we need to catch well, we need to run the football well, and we need to protect the football and not turn it over. And I think if we do that, we're going to uh, have a chance to, to get a rivalry win. Okay, well, Coach, thanks for your time today. Good luck against Triway Friday night. Thank you. We'll take it back to Matt Croy at Village Motors. Well, Jake, thank you. Alongside Mike Kinsey once again here from Village Motors. And, Mike, it's almost here, the annual Customer Appreciation Day coming up on Saturday, August 26th. Yeah, it's the best day or best weekend of the year, and we encourage everyone to come out and have a good time with us. Uh, we support the Holmes County Fair. I believe we bought three hogs. We'll have whole hog sausage. The Lions Club will be out here. A lot of entertainment. Great time. Come on out and let us and you know do something for you guys. Mark that on your calendar again Saturday, August 26th. It'll be on Village Motors, Worcester Road in Millersburg or on the web, villagemotorsinc.com. Well, West Holmes looking to keep things going on their home field where they're riding an 18-game home win streak into their, entering their season opener against Triway, of course, this Friday night. Of course, they defeated Triway on the road to open up the season last year, 41-7. to Triway coming off a 4-7 and campaign last year or kind of hit by the injury bug a little bit last year for this Triway team. But you know, under the direction of head coach Cody uh, uh, Kelly for them, they're always a dangerous team facing this Triway team. Uh, it's always fun. You know, you play Triway rivalry uh, not too far away, but I think it'll be number 19, Matt. No question about that. Weston looking to, Weston was looking to make it number 19 in the row. And, and for the Knights, obviously getting a chance to open up on their home field. That's always fun. And we know the, the fans are going to be coming out here. Should be a rocking crowd at Knight Stadium on Friday. Oh, it's always fun. You know, football's in the air. Uh, school starts uh, next week. Maybe not everybody's happy about that. But that's one <laughs> thing is football starting. So it's a great time of year. And like I've said many times, this is a football school. You win, you come. We'll follow you, boys. We believe in you. We're looking forward to that, no question about that. So we certainly invite all the fans to come out and support the West Holmes football team to start off the season this Friday night. We do want to remind you, though, we will have that game on WKNLM. We'll be video live streaming that contest that we'll be doing through all the home games throughout this season, a few of the road games along with that on the WKLM YouTube page. So don't miss that. And courtesy, that'll be in conjunction, of course, with Claxon Communications. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Our hometown football Friday night pregame show begins at 6. 6 p.m. kickoff is at 7 o'clock. For Mike Kenzie, I'm Matt Croy. Special thank you also to Jake Seidel and Zach Gardner. And that's been this week's Knights Football Weekly Preview Show brought to you by Village Voters of Millersburg. Thank you for watching the West Holmes Knights Football Weekly Preview Show on WKLM.